That's not a boat, that's a land yacht. <laughs> It is a big one. So you just got it back rain, right? from interior. Interior. Cover the front yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. Gosh. And that's not the steering wheel that'll Tell stay us, on it. What have you done? That's a temporary steering this wheel. This looks like goodness. It looks like a fixture at an amusement park, or <laughs> or it looks like it's illegal to get something in, in a movie. I mean. <laughs> That is insane. Dang, there, is, I'll have to show you all, all the crazy things with this car. Okay, let's see. How's it run? So, oh, it's great. It's, you know, the brand new, long, brand new it's, LS. It's a, yeah. So I've, it's still got, I've got the engine covers LS. at home, so those are not on yet. We had to adapt because the engine's so long, the radiator had to go from forward to back, or from back to forward condenser so we had to build all of this uh, in the front custom fab all the mounts yep um, so the wires need to be tucked away and and put in their proper places there's a little bit of just little tweaks here and there but it's the windshield wiper motor originally was vacuum operated now uh -huh. it's electric you got you know your your i did it all your steering down below that's all modified and so then I did it that? column on the yeah, I'll inside, tell you <laughs> all the way down and so probably originally like not power steering um and yeah. now is now it is I see the pump on the on the belt right here right right uh-huh so now I've power, got rack. power steering rack yeah. power rack and pinion isn't yeah that, isn't that that's for like uh brights or something yes so this has blinkers and fog lights Right there, so they're all they're all functional. Uh -huh. They they all work. Um, that piece right there, that V. Uh -huh. um, there's a whole story behind all of that, but that one V was eight hundred dollars. It was fifty dollars on eBay. Then you send it in to get nickel plated, and then they coat it with with gold. So that's pure gold. So, <laughs> in other words, just don't touch it, guys. <laughs> you know Martin Johnson. Yeah. So right there, this, this is called an autotronic eye. And a lot of the caddies had it from about, I don't know, 45, 48 on. And it, it, you drive around with your high beams on. And then when a car comes up close to you and coming at you, it'll actually dim your lights automatically. It ran with vacuum tubes inside. And there's a whole box on the front fender with full of transistor tubes and so I took it to Martin and he took that whole thing and put a little CPU, stuck it inside there. So it is just all in there electronic. Like, did he use a Raspberry Pi? Nope, nope. He had his own little his own circuitry. circuitry. And so it does some things that the original didn't do. Um, sometimes with the original, you drive it into a, um, with street lights and the street lights would trick it and it would start oscillating high low high low high low so he built some circuitry actually to stop it from oscillating but that works perfect the little black thing here on the window that is a gps antenna so that goes to a gps unit that drives the speedometer there's another box that converts the gps signal, signal into a motor that spins the cable that drives the speedometer this right here drops down, and there's your screen for uh -huh. the Terminator X. Yeah, for all the um, EFI. For the, yep, yeah. so you pop that on, issue. and it just lights right up and does its pretty thing. My goodness. So um, it allows you to have your different gauges, and it tells you if your fans are on and off, and what your oil pressure and your water temperature. And so that's all built into there. Turbo. Um, yeah, you could. Far. It actually does. It, it will, but not this one. But then here we have trunk popper. Oh, the trunk release. Yeah. And they only did that in, well, not in 54, but they did it in 55. So it's a 55 trunk popper. And holy smokes. How many bodies can you fit in there? <laughs> and that's that's because it, it's all shelf. There's a whole shelf there, but it's got a subwoofer, amplifier, battery. The battery's sitting right there, uh -huh. and it's all covered. 
So that's, that's the uh, dang. That's like this is a connect that is right suburban there. Suburban style. Yeah, cut off switch. So if you just want to pop it and don't want to drain the battery, um, this is a battery tender. So it's tied up to the battery. Oh, yeah. So here's the battery tender. So you just plug it in whenever you want to beef up the battery. Um, it's like you could just totally you could put a bed in here and you could just camp out. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Now you got yourself a nightlight. <laughs> now it's car show fodder. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, it's got uh, catalytic converters, so it's super, you know, quiet, um, and you don't get the gassy smell like an old car. So those are 16-inch Wheelsmith wheels. They actually custom made them for this car. So once I got all the calipers on, I had to measure the the everything inside the the whole in and out and front and back, and then they custom made the wheels for this right. set. Offset and yep. lug pattern. And yep, yep, yep. Cadillacs came with a five on five. This is a five with four and three quarter, so a Chevy mm -hmm. GM. The yes. rear end is a Pontiac GTO rear end with Positrack, I think uh, 355s. And, uh, and then the front end is all tubular A-frame Right now, it's just got a drive shaft. As you drive down the road, it goes chunk a chunk a chunk a chunk. Talk to me about the subframe. It's a TCI, it's what they call a bikini clip. And you can kind of see, like up in here, we cut the original frame and welded the, the new frame into it. Um, we had to put marks everywhere on the concrete floor of where each point would be. So to, when we put in the new frame, it would match the same height, the same angle, the same, you know, left and right, and, and then the bumper brackets had to match. Um, what about all the front end componentry? The disc brakes, yep. the, the Slotted. axles, the shocks, the A-arms, where's all that come from? Oh, it's all TCI. It came with this. It's part of the bikini. Yep, it came what with did you it. call it? Not bikini a bikini cat. clip. So this is the X frame. So the original frame had this X to give it stability. The original transmission stuck right about in the middle of the X frame. Uh -huh. So then your drive line actually could bounce up and down and not hit anything. Well, this one's a little different because the tranny's shorter on the 4L65. So the drive line, we had to custom make it. And uh, um, it has to go through the X frame. <laughs> and it's hitting. You can kind of see that it's... Is it off center intentionally a little bit? I don't know. That's just how, and it could have been when we welded in the motor mounts that the motor's kind of half twisted just a bit. It doesn't look like that. No. I mean, the tranny looks straight. Okay. So is it the X frame that's off or the drive line? Oh, the drive line doesn't go into the center of the pumpkin. That's why. Yeah, that's it's saying. offset. That's yeah, Basically the center of the pumpkin's the... over here, and that's yeah. just a, so your X frame is probably spot on. Yeah. Yeah, and the, and the the fact that the pumpkin is slightly off center makes it so that it it it's it's off to one side. Yeah, bit. yeah. So all we're talking about, and it's well, worst when the suspension is all the way extended. Yeah. Because as the suspension goes up, yep, it actually it'll, it'll has actually a little bit of clearance in there. Right. When they built the drive line, I asked him if they could go a little bit narrower or smaller, and he said no. That the length of it, small. yeah, he, he didn't feel comfortable going skinnier. The rear end came out of a 70, or 69, I don't know, 69, 70 GTO. You wouldn't think you'd sweat, but you oh, do. It's a workout. You couldn't, you couldn't get called to do this for you? <laughs> he handed it to me and gave me the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> did it have power windows from the factory? It did. Really? Yes. Like you got just a little bit of a fan belt chirp or something right there. I think so. Just check to see if your circuitry belt is tight. Okay. It's kind of what it sounds like to me. Okay. Is that your AFR? Is it, it's because it's not warmed up yet. There you go. Yeah. Pretty cool. 
hecho So far, so good. Not bumping at all. Good. Yeah, Run it a little bit. Yep. Okay. Have a good night.